So this is all working uh, very nicely, but the thing that I know is not working quite right is um, all the JavaScript that should be happening on this page is not. So I want to take a minute to, to show why that is and, and see what we can do to fix it. So when I do a view source, you know, here we're linking to the actual style sheet. Let's zoom in. Here we're linking to the actual style sheet. You can see down here where we have scripts linked, you know, slash static JS scripts.js. So let's actually link that up so the scripts fire. To test this, I'm going to open up that scripts file. And let's put in alert for hello, the scripts work. So to link that up, I could go back into index.twig and sort of like I did with um, the style sheet, I could do slash WP content, uh, slash themes, slash Boston built static JS scripts JS. So this should work. And indeed, if I refresh, we get that alert. Um, the thing is to go back through and repopulate all of your links with the same string is a real pain and not that efficient. Luckily, we've got an answer. So over here in index.php, um, right now, context is just starting out as a blank array, and then we're starting to populate it. I'm going to re replace this with a call to timber, brace, brace, get context. What that's going to do is it's going to fetch a lot of data that we're going to need for our theme um, as kind of a starter package to work with. One of the things that comes packed with is um, information about the current theme that we're using. So back in index.twig, I can use that data here. So check this out. Instead of this um, string here, which links me to my um, theme directory, I'm going to do brace, brace, and then theme.path. And now if I go back, or let's actually go up to this top here and also replace this one with theme. And this time I'm going to use theme.link to show you the difference. And let's go back into uh, Chrome and refresh. And you can see that everything still loads. Um, this dial error or alert still fires, telling me that everything is still working. It's just getting that data now um, from Timber. So I want to do a view source and just show this real quick. You can see here at the top where I did theme.link, it gives me the full HTTP link to that theme directory. And then down here where zoom in a little more down here where I did theme.path you can see it's slash WB content themes Boston built and that's a concept that we use throughout um, path will link you to the relative path um, to a particular file or link whereas link will be the full um, URL to that resource so I want to finish up and do a few more things um, and let's go back here and you know how we were getting um, context post, and then we were doing a manual query on the post we want. Um, so I'm going to comment that out, and I want you to see what happens. So now we're just getting context, and we're sending that to the template. Uh, essentially, this PHP file is doing very, very, very little work. Um, if I refresh now, you would expect that those posts would disappear. But, in fact, they don't. They still stay there. And it's because Timber's um, default uh, get context is going to fetch the current posts that are in whatever um, loop that you're working with automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. That said, when you want to overwrite that or add to it, it's very easy to do that. So, just uh, for demonstration, here I'm going to say um, posts per page and set that equal to two. We're now going to overwrite whatever came uh, through with posts um, and have that only be the two most recent. So if I refresh, there we go. So that does it um, for getting the home page up and running. In the next video, um, I'm going to get into actually clicking through into one of these single pages.